Okay, we are going to talk about the past, specifically the what we call the simple past. And today we're just going to do the, the easy, regular verbs. Okay, when I talk about the past, I'm talking about what happened before. Okay, so often we, uh, we use words like, uh oh, excuse me yesterday right or last week or in I don't know any kind of year so any any year so in in 2012 so a few years ago right or it could be a very short time ago one minute ago okay so these these are uh, just some examples of of words or phrases that we use when we talk about the past okay so for these regular verbs these regular verbs okay uh, what i do is i i take a word like walk and if it's a regular word a regular verb and i'm talking about the past like yesterday i'm just going to add an ed when i write it so walked I need a better marker. Let's see if I a better marker. Oh, 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 oh. Let's see. This works. Yes, that's much better. Okay, so walked. Okay. Uh, talk with ED. Talked. Talked. Okay. Brush, like every day, I hope you brush your teeth. Brushed. A word like like. Now, do you see like ends with an E? We don't add an ED. For this one, we're just going to add the letter D. Liked. Okay. Love. Same thing. Ends with an E. It ends with an E. We're going to add a D. Loved. Okay. Listen. Listened. Okay. Over here, play. ED. Played. Now I want to show you something. This next one is a little bit tricky. Okay, um, you uh, a lot of students will think, oh, just it just add ed, right? It's a regular verb. Add ed. This is not correct. Okay. Now if you notice played, do you notice that this is the the letter a is a vowel. It's a vowel sound, right? So if it's a vowel and a y, just add ed. But over here, this R is not a vowel. It's a consonant. So if it's a consonant and Y, what we do is we kill the Y. You're dead, Y. And we add an I, E, D. Okay, so you need to memorize that one. It's still considered a regular verb because it has an E, D ending. But what we do is we take out the Y and change it to I-E-D. Same with this one, cry. Oops, I didn't mean to take out the R. Okay, so C-R, kill the Y, I-E-D. Did you cry yesterday? Okay, now this other one, this next one, stop. Okay, uh, you need to memorize this rule as well. Okay, this is a consonant, vowel, consonant, and when I say this word stop, I don't say stop, I say stop. So the, the vowel sound is a short ah, stop, right? Because of that, what I need to do is double this consonant P, stopped, stopped, okay? Same with this one, shop, that O is an ah sound. So I double the P, E-D, okay? This next word, need. Now you notice need already ends with E-D. It already ends with E-D, okay? Um, but what I need to do is again add another E-D. And the way that I say this, instead of one syllable need, I'm gonna say needed, needed. So it's actually two syllables. Same with this one, want, want, and add ed, wanted. 
All right, this next one, use. It already ends with a, with an E. Just going to add a D, used. All right, these next two words, in my opinion, are maybe the hardest words to say in English for a lot of English learners, okay? This, this first word is watch, watch. But when I add ED, now it becomes watched, 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 okay? So the way I say it, I'd like you to repeat after me. This ED is a T sound, like a letter T. This is ch, right? So we're going to put these together. Ch, 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 ch. Now we're going to say it this way, starting with the A, but the A is ah, right? Ah, ch, ah, ch. Now we're going to add the W. Watched, watched. Okay. This word wash is very similar. Okay, wash, like you wash your clothes, maybe you wash the dishes, add an ed, okay? Now this ed, because of the sh sound, is going to be t, t. So it's going to be sh, t, sh, t. Up here it's ch, t. Here it's sh, t, sh, t. And we're going to say this, ah, ah, And now with the w, washed, washed. Okay, now you may have seen this, you may haven't. In some of my other videos, I, uh, I have featured my do, does, did, triangle. And I need to, to revisit this because when we make questions and when we make negative statements, we must use the word did. Can you see that? We must use the word did for the past tense, okay? So for example, you see that word walked, walked, okay? By making a question, for example, did you, what's the past tense of walk? Walked, right? Question for you, is this correct or is it wrong? Did you walk to school yesterday? Did you walk to school yesterday? According to the wisdom of the triangle, when we have a word like did, the next verb must be the base verb. Let me say that again. After did, after did, the next verb must be the base verb. So, did you walked? Here's my question for you. Is the word walked the base verb? And the answer is no, it's not. Okay, so we must take out the ed. Did you walk to school yesterday? Did you walk to school yesterday? Same with if I if I make this negative. So maybe I'm going to say I didn't. Now it's negative, right? I didn't. Uh, let's see. Let's use the word brush. Past tense of brush is brushed, right? I didn't brush my hair this morning. I didn't brush my hair this morning. According to the triangle, after did or didn't, even if it's negative, the next verb must be the base verb. Is this correct? The answer is no. Okay. I'm going to take out the ED. I didn't brush my hair this morning. Okay. So before I let you go, I want to do one more thing. I'm going to say each of these words, and I want you to 
practice saying them after I say them. So just repeat, okay? So the first one, walked. We're going to just use the past tense. Walked. Walked. Do you hear the t t t t t It's got a t ending. Okay? Talked. 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 By the way, I don't say the L. I don't say the L in in walk or talk. I don't say I walked. I don't say walked. I say walked. So the L is silent. Same with this one. The L is silent. Talked. Talked. This next one, brushed. Brushed. It's got a t ending. This next one, liked. Liked. It's got a t ending. This next one, loved. Loved. It's got a d ending. Listened. Listened. Okay. Played. Played. Tried. Cried. Stopped. Back to the t ending, right? Shopped. All right, now this one needed. Needed. There's a whole other syllable. Wanted. There's a whole other syllable. And the last one, actually, we got two more. Used. Used. Watched. And washed. Okay. I hope you learned something. See you next time.